Sometimes I like to grip on my wood really tightly with a clamp, just like this. Follow along with me as I show you guys how I built this. Let me introduce you to my compact assembly table that house my planer, sander, and knickknacks. It has a 4x2 footprint with foldable top that expands the top to 4x4. The reason why I want to advise is because I want to be able to hold wood on its side like this so that I can hand plane it like this or chisel it. That's not how you chisel, buddy. That's not how you chisel. Are you going to do it again? Of course you are. On real woodworker's bench, you will have face files or tail files and dog holes that make the top look like Swiss cheese. But I'm not a real woodworker, so we're going to use something that is called match fit system. The first time I learned about match fit system is from Lincoln Street Woodwork Outfit Less Assembly Table that has these grooves all around it that makes it look like a bar of chocolate. Here's what we have in the box. First, we have the dovetail clamp. It's called a dovetail clamp because, well, the part that slides into the groove is shaped like a dovetail. Hence, dovetail clamps. That makes sense. The next one is we have the setup gauge thingy. The setup gauge have a couple of gauges. The first one is for the relief cut that will be cut using a straight router bit. And the second one is a dovetail gauge that will be cut using a dovetail bit. The match with dados are going to be routed on the foldable top. And this will act as a face vise, leg vise, and dog holes. I promise it will make sense by the end of the video. The top of this assembly table is made of 3 quarter inch plywood. Since we're going to route match fit dado on it, I thought it would be a good idea to beef it up with extra half inch plywood. By the way, you guys ever thought that wood glue looks like mayo? So right here I'm basically spreading mayo to make plywood sandwich. For this glue up, I'm going to use the best type of clamp, the Newtonian clamp. It's easy to use and can help you get ripped. You basically can get your workout in while working in the garage. Yeah, boy. Next up, after you get your plywood sandwich, you want to test how steady your hand is by drawing lines where the match with dados are going to be. And you will also test your eyesight because, man, I'm getting old. These lines are getting harder to see. All right, time to get cutting or routing, if that's a word. We're going to start with the relief dados and we're going to use the straight bit as we talked about before. We'll run a lot of those so I'm not going to bore you guys. I'm just going to speed this up until we get to the next step. And of course, now we're going to do the same steps with the dovetail bit. If you're like me, then you should have a drawer full of takeout utensils. Get a chopstick from that drawer. We're going to sand these match with dados using a chopstick with sandpaper rolled and glued on one of its tip. We're going to use the other chopstick tip to apply paste wax on these dados. We're using paste wax because it helps protect the plywood while making it easier for the clamp to glide around. Now 
and we're done. Here are the match fit clamps. I'm going to show you a demo when the top is folded. When the top is folded, you can hold the lumber and work on its edge, such as jointing, which I kind of know how to do, or making dovetails, chiseling dovetail, which I have no friggin' idea how to do. Now, when you open the top, this is where it's really cool, because you can hold the same lumber and start working on the face. This is really useful for when you need to flatten any board. Thanks for watching guys, and now we're going to do the beauty shot.